today I have another book free review for you. Another book review for you today. <laughs> wow, okay. And uh, that's going to be Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. This was published in 2016 and this is a sci-fi thriller. There's a lot of debate what kind of genre this falls into. I don't see what the debate's about. It's a sci-fi thriller. So I've heard a lot about this book. I've seen it circulate booktube a lot, especially for a book this old. I mean, it's not old, but it's kind of old. And I'm always late to the party, so I mean, I guess this is fitting. I listened to the audio version of this, um, and I don't know who narrated it. I did not write it down, so my bad. But if this book had one theme, the theme would be what if. There's a lot of what ifs happening and we, we start talking a lot about parallel versions of yourself. And we're not talking about like the big what ifs, like what if I moved to New York City or what if I said yes to a date, I, I don't know. Just big things that can really change your life. We're talking about the small things. Like what if I went to the drive-thru and grabbed some Dunkin' Donuts coffee on my way to work the other day? You know, what if I decided to eat a hamburger instead of a grilled cheese? I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like we're talking about like the little minor things that we just, all the choices we make. Just in the endless, the endless and drastic changes it can take over time doing these little different, you know, what if, what if? There's just an endless possibilities of what if. Now let's start off with Jason. Jason is a college physics professor and he is married to Daniela. She was an artist, you know, but love of his life, you know, absolutely loves her. It's, it's life is life is good. And then they have a son who is 14 and his name is Charles and he's very artsy. You know, he definitely takes after his mother in that regard. Now, Jason does have moments in his life like anyone who thinks, you know, what if I didn't stay with Daniela when she told me she was pregnant with Charles. You know, what if he was just like, no, I'm going to make a scientific breakthrough. You know, he had all this grant money to help with his researching. And then when life happened, when Charles came into the picture, his motivation kind of dwindled. And then um, the grant money was like taken away from him. That's why he's a physics professor now. Uh, so, you know, he thinks, what if, like, what if I stuck with it and, you know, was able to continue and make that grant money worthwhile? And, you know, Daniela sometimes thinks like, what if she kept making paintings and still did gallery shows, which is what she was doing when she met Jason, you know, so like, there's like those little what ifs. I mean, they're not little, those are actually big changes than what their life actually became, but you know what I mean? So they, they occasionally think about it but they don't wish for it. Like they're pretty happy where they are. Their marriage is good. They have a solid marriage. They have a great relationship, the three of them with each other. Life's good, life's good. So the story starts off with family night. Once a week or a month, I think it's once a week, they have a designated Friday or Saturday where it's family night where they them get together. They, they don't, you know, take out their phones, electronics go away. You know, it's just, it's just family time, bonding time, whatever. So that night, Jason has an old colleague, an old roommate who just made a scientific breakthrough and he's at the bar down the street celebrating with his students. Cause he also is a professor, but he also keeps his, you know, sciencey situation stuff going on inside. So yeah, so he's, he's celebrating with students and, and friends or whatever. So Daniela convinces Jason to just stop by and congratulate him because, you know, he does, Jason doesn't want to go because it's family night and Daniela's like, chill, just go see your friend when you get, like, have a beer with him, congratulate him. And then when you get back, you know, it'll be time for dinner. You know, we can continue with family night. So Jason goes and he sees his friend, congratulates him, has a drink with him at the bar. And this was where it's weird because like his friend I mean, I forgot his name. And of course I didn't write it down because it's not like I'm doing book reviews or anything. But anyways, so he, like if he, if you did something like this, like a scientific breakthrough, I would be so just happy and like proud of myself. You know what I mean? And just like fe all the feel goods. And he's like that, but he also was super salty towards Jason because Jason wasn't on like the same level with him when it came to scientific research like he because Jason just 
cared more about his family and, you know, instead of continuing on with all this scientific research. So I thought it was weird because he got real salty with Jason and then Jason's like, okay, like, sorry, I didn't stay on the path like you, but congratulations. And then he left the bar. I mean, that doesn't change the story or anything. I just thought that was like a weird thing to mention because it's like, why are you salty? Like, you still obviously did great things. I don't Anywho, let's, let's not get off track here. So on his way back home, he's kidnapped. And he, the guy's got this mask over his face so he can't see who he, he is. And he's held at gunshot. And they end up at this old abandoned building. And he's asked to take off all his clothes and then replace them with all these, a different style of clothes that he doesn't wear. And then he is injected with something. And then the guy who kidnapped him also injected himself with something and then he passes out now when he comes back to he is strapped on a gurney and he is what seems to be like a hospital he's like whisked in his vitals are checked this and that and a person says you know welcome back like we are so happy to see you and then you know do you remember who i am and he's like uh no I, I don't know who you are. And then he's immediately thrown into this room and there's like a therapist lady and she's like, oh, like, hey, Jason, we're so happy to see you. Like, we're so happy you're back. Tell us, how was it? And he's like, like, what the shit? What the, I don't know. Like, what, what is happening? Like, so he's so confused. He doesn't know what's going on. He originally thinks that his mind has been like wiped out or something, that he's missing a whole lifetime worth of memories that he must have had or that's what assumes to be the situation that he had a life and it was wiped from his memory and replaced with a false life but then you know is it false was it real from this the layers and the what ifs and, and the lives and the possibilities -ness of everything all of it comes into play <laughs> now what i found really interesting about this book is that I read The Midnight Library by Matt Haig, and this book is like a darker version of that. <laughs> so if you know what I mean, did I do a review on that book? I don't think I did. Yeah, so this is like a darker, more twisted, bleak version of The Midnight Library, and it was good. I liked it. I gave this, what did I do? I gave this book four stars. It was just, it really gets your mind thinking in, in the possibilities. And it, it doesn't, it has a nice ending, but at the same time, it's like, oh, that was nice. But wait, there's other things that happened along the way. What happened to those people? There's also another woman that he is with. She ends up being um, a colleague from this other life that he was talking that he gets thrown into and she just like she just pieces out and we don't know what the heck happened to her where her life like I did not like that I wanted to know what happened to her anywho I'm glad I read it I feel like I'm in the know now I'm with I'm with all the other people who are up to date with this stuff I feel like one of the cool kids because now I know now I know about dark matter and it is a great book I enjoy it I'm with you guys I think this was awesome I also see that Blake Crouch wrote a book in 2019 called excursion because I do I want to read more from him I really enjoyed this one I want to read something else from him and I saw this and it, I guess it's about like time travel and other things so he really likes those like just mind-boggling stories and I'm here for it I mean I'm gonna need a break I'm because <laughs> it was a lot but I am excited to get to excursion eventually at some point but yeah Blake Crouch he's an author I'm gonna keep my eye out have you guys read Dark Matter are you in the know are you one of the cool kids who read the book back in the day when it was new let me know I post Sundays sometimes Tuesdays and Thursdays I hope that you are sticking around and enjoying this journey with me